Can I get you something to eat? Some coffee? Uh, Maria should eat something. She needs to keep her strength up. In the uh, next uh, few days, weeks, it's not going to be easy on any of us. Darling, please don't worry about Maria. Maria's going to be fine. I mean, she knows deep down that being part of a couple means that sometimes you say things in anger that you don't mean. I mean, for heaven's sakes, look at us. Wars were started with less provocation. Maria feel, feels so guilty. Pain is still very fresh. But she knows, she knows deep down that underneath those fighting words, there is a... There was a deep love. Maria can never doubt that Edmund loved her. And we won't let her. Edmund uh, came to me just before the wedding. He wanted to, uh... He wanted to know if he'd be a good husband, a good father. He was scared to death. He was, uh... He was afraid he'd fail, Maria. But he didn't. He was a wonderful husband. He was a fine man. He was a devoted brother. It just rips me up to uh, see her suffer. What about you, darling? What about you? I mean, you and Edmund, you were just devoted to each other. What can I do? You just, you just go up and... Uh... And get some rest. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. No, I am not going to leave you alone. I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. You know, you sound like I did when my mother died. On the outside, I seemed very calm. I was able to make all those funeral arrangements. But inside, I was screaming. I was screaming one long scream of, of indescribable pain. Please let it go, darling. Let it go. Hold on to me. Together we will get through. I need to get my eyes checked. Will. It's like when Laura died. It was so out of the blue. It was so sudden. Now, dear, don't put yourself through this, please. No, I, I know that Edmund is gone. I... I just don't feel it yet. It's too soon, dear. You're still in shock. No, no, it's... It, it's not about time. It's about something else. You know, when they... When they told me that Laura was dead, and I went to the hospital and I saw her, and I knew that they were right. I mean, I knew... In, in my soul, that, that she was gone. And, and that's why I, I was able to tell them to turn off the machines, because I, I, I knew that her soul was someplace else, and I, I knew that we weren't connected anymore. But that's not the case with Edmund. It's different. I, 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 I feel like he's here somewhere. I, darling. That's because you're in denial. I mean, I still can't believe that I'll never see his grin again or, or, or hear him tease me, the naughty boy. No, no, no. It isn't that. Isn't that? 
It's like if he's gone, I feel like I should feel it deep in my soul, and I don't. I mean, is there something wrong with me? I, st I, I feel like we're still connected. Darling, don't fret about it now. Try to get some rest. No. I'm not sleepy. I... Well, at least lie down for a while. I'll call Langley and let him know I'll be spending the night. No, you go home. Really, go home, all right? I'll, I'll be all right. Of course you will, because I'll be right here taking care of you. Come on now. Lie down. Let's get some sleep. Pretend your little girl let me tuck you in. There we go. All right. Just for a little bit. That's right. There you are. Get comfy, sweetheart. We'll talk some more when you feel up to it. Now, close your eyes and relax and try to sleep. I love you so. to convince myself that her death was just a dream and that I would wake up and that I would, I would smell her perfume and I would hear her humming in the kitchen she put her around and that I would run downstairs and she would hug me smile at me Good morning, sweetheart. Sleep well. I have never felt so alone as I did in that moment. I mean, it was a day like any other day, except that the world as I had known it had ended. And I was a stranger in my own house and, and in my own life. The grief was so overwhelming and, and frightening that I knew that if I would get into it, I would go mad. Of course, there was no question that I would never give into it. Of course not. I was in the game. And life had dealt me a lot of curveballs, and I had never, never struck out. So I stood there in that awful emptiness. And I convinced myself that I handle my mother's death, that I could make calls, and I could make arrangements, and I could make up my mind that I was fine, that I was in control. We both know what happened. Please don't do what I did. Please don't deny what you're Please don't lock yourself into playing some role that you think you have to play. Feel the shock. You have pain from losing your brother. Feel the, the emptiness that Edmund's death has left on your soul. No. You loved him. You have to grieve for him. I can't. Yes, you can. It's okay. I'm here. You're not alone, darling. It's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> Have 
I found Janet sitting in her car waiting to do God only knows what to Dixie, who shouldn't have been alone in the first place. I don't need a bodyguard, Ted. It'll scare the kids. I'll be up in a minute. Say your prayers. Listen, don't go anywhere, because this conversation is not over. It is, too. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Me with a bodyguard. Can you imagine that? Ugh. Ted has a point, you know. What would happen if Janet Green would have come after you while you were alone in the cemetery? What? You saw Will again at the rally tonight, didn't you? What makes you think that? That's why you went to the cemetery alone. To see him again, and you did. Dixie, look. I love you. You gave me back my life. Let me help you now. I know this sounds crazy. I know that I sound so crazy, but I'm not. All right? It wasn't like he was some kind of see-through apparition. He was real. He was... I could see Will in the flesh. Dixie, you couldn't have. He's dead. I know that. Don't you think I would know that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? What can I do to help? I don't know. I don't know if anybody can do anything if I'm losing my mind. Oh, come on, Dixie. You're not losing your mind. I already have before. After Will died, I had this kind of nervous breakdown. I moved into Will's apartment. I saw things. I heard things. I talked to him, and he talked back. The therapist said that it was because I felt so bad about the way that I treated him. And that all the voices that I heard were just in my own head. Well, is it the same this time? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, maybe I, maybe I really want to stop the whole campaign against Janet. Maybe. Maybe it's because it brings back so many memories, or because I feel so bad. Maybe Janet is the reason that I am seeing Will again. You're seeing Will. met a while back over lunch here at the inn. <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's you. <laughs> I'm not seeing you. That's good. What? Well, beg your pardon? Oh. I'm sorry. I was downstairs. And I saw... I, I, I saw this guy that looked like this guy that I, I used to know. And you're him. I mean, you're you. I mean, you look like the person that I saw... Um, I'm sorry, I'm talking and I can't shut up. I'm sorry. It's okay, you're cute when you ramble. Again, I'm sorry. No, 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 run off. Why don't you, um, you want to you wanna join me for a nightcap? Uh, oh. We can maybe exchange who looks like whose stories. Thanks, but my, my boyfriend is expecting me. Some guys just have all the luck. Good night. Good night. What are you doing here? You two know each other? 